Welcome to Let Us Farm. My name is Emily Fawunwell Oge of Let Us Farm. So today, we are going to be discussing about the effect of rainfall in your catfish farm. You may have noticed that sometimes when rain falls, you have some death in the catfish farm. And then some fishes just die each time that there is rainfall. So what are the causes? What is the effect? What causes this problem? Is rainfall acidic to your pond? Or is there anything you are doing wrong that makes it that each time rain comes, maybe the rain corrects your errors and then your fishes die? I don't know, but we're going to discuss this. Now, before we go further, this is Let Us Farm page. And all we do here is we try to provide you practical solutions to solving all your agri problems. And if you've never subscribed to this our channel, kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. So that once we drop any video, you will get that video. And if you are having challenges in your farm, simply do a two to three minutes video of this challenge. Kindly do this video when you are feeding your fishes. Send me this video. I'm going to tell you what is the problem of your fishes. And I will do this for free. I have been doing it and the results are something else. So do this and you'll be able to get the results you are looking for. And I've always said this, please let us farm does not have any WhatsApp group. We don't have any close group that we call people to pay money to join. No. All my groups are here as you see me and any other platform. So that's what we do and that's what we keep doing. So um, I will be right back to discuss this particular topic. It's interesting and um, it's going to help a lot of us. Is rainfall harmful to your catfish farm? I'll be right Welcome back. Yeah, rainfall, it's natural rain from the skies, from the heaven, from God, from everywhere. You know, it's a natural occurrence that we see. You see rain, you see downpours coming. There are many scientific theories of how rain actually comes, but that's not what we're discussing. So what we're discussing today is the effects of rainfall in your farm, your catfish farm. Now, um, some of us may have had incidents or issues that... Sometimes when there are rainfalls, you, you actually experience some death in your catfish farm. Do you know why this happens? Okay, let me explain this. And some people even ask me that the zinc water is actually entering their pond. Is it good or bad? I will explain this. Now, for the first start, let's start this. Sometimes your rainfall may fall. When it's very heavy, your catfishes die. It may happen in earthen pond, it may happen in concrete pond. Now, one of the reasons this thing may happen is that the initial water pH of your farm may used to be high and you actually regulate it by putting things inside the water to drop that pH. So when the rain comes and adds to the water, you know, automatically, whatever you have put in place, the more water that goes in, kills the potency of that thing and increases indirectly the water pH and this affects your pond. But if your water pH in your pond is normal, you've never experienced anything, there's no reason for your catfishes to die except if it is on an eating pond and maybe when the rain falls, it, it, it carries things from the gutter or it carries things from the erosion site or it carries things from walkways and bring them directly to your pond now these things that it brings to the pond may compon may contain some certain components or elements of chemical composition that may not sit well with your fishes so when they enter the pond they actually increase your water ph or over reduce your water ph remember these are external objects it can be empty containers you don't know there are things that people throw on the way when rain comes it actually sweeps these things and if it sweeps it and now end them in your pond this is where you have the disaster so it's always advisable if you have eating pond always try to raise the banks so that when rain is falling you don't have any external water pouring inside your pond without being that one that is regulated by you. This is not to say that people that have stream that attached to their pond is bad. No, what I'm saying is that the stream that you connected to enter your pond is regulated by you. 
but that water that passes erosion sites that passes gutter sites that anytime it overflows it comes into your pond is not regulated by you because you don't know where this is coming from so it can carry debris and things like that and come to your pond and when this happens it's a bad result the reason why i decided to explain this this long is that you know i may say the short one you may not really understand why the longer one happens so this is what happens in the etin pond that sometimes you notice that when there is heavy rain four hours three hours the after the heavy downpour you come to your pond level the water rises and the next thing that you see floating fish is dead it's because of what has entered the pond not the one that come direct from the skies no those ones are still very clean now let's move to the concrete and the surface ponds now so surface ponds especially the one that has zincs flowing into them they are not bad but this is what is bad if for instance there are things that people throw up the zinc and there is heavy rain and these things are washed directly into your pond you and i don't know exactly what was thrown up and if it's washed into your pond and the thing does not flow out immediately if they are still there let's say for instance there are some rotten containers that are thrown up your roof and when the rain falls it falls inside the pond and it goes there and starts increasing the quantity of zinc content of the water it may get to the one that will not be acceptable by the fishes so because they are still there your fishes may have to die so what you do in effect is this when there is this type of um, heavy rain and you come and let's say there is a um, wash off from zinc or something like that and it pours inside your pond and like when i was using um surface ponds like that i normally put cover on top what i mean by cover is just to put net so that things don't directly fall inside my pond so with that even if it's just ordinary water that enters i don't have problem not no other external objects actually fall inside so this helps me to like control what's going on but if you don't have it, I don't say you should go and buy it. What you have to do is simple. When there are rains like that and the zinc actually brings in a lot of water inside your pond, simple. Go there, reduce the amount of water in the pond and allow fresh one to enter. Nothing will happen. Your fishes will be fine. So, and then in some places, like I explained in the etting pond, there are some other etting pond that may not even experience any overflow from outside. But what happens is that originally the place was having some issues but you may never know of water ph it goes up it comes down but it never affected your fishes so when this heavy rain comes it destabilizes the particular ph that is there and then the abnormal one comes up and then the fishes die so the best way to treat this issue is that if you come the next day and then you notice that for some reasons you have one or two dead fishes don't panic what you do immediately is pump out all the water and pump in fresh water. Once you do that, it's going to stabilize. Because it means that that heavy rain that came actually came and destabilized the water pH of that particular spot. I don't want us to misunderstand this. So I will be so glad if you, if you are not getting me very well, just use the comment section so that I will explain more. So this issue is also applicable to people using tanks, rubber plastics for pond and everything like that. Your rainwater has no problem going inside your pond. No. What has the problem going inside your pond is the materials that may be carried along while the rainwater falls. That is the ones that have problem. That is the ones that may, you know, change the water pH of your particular fish pond. If not, you are good to go. So, <clears throat> in essence, the heavy rainfall is not the reason why you have problem. But what this heavy rainfall brings to your pond is what may give you problem and if for some reasons these particular issues are not resolved and you're having more issues on them then use the comment section and tell me exactly what and what are the issues and i assure you i'll be able to tell you what you will do to come out of the issue if you don't understand what i have tried to explain about the rainwater and how it affects your farm Please use the comment section and I promise you I'm going to explain it to you. And if for some reasons your fishes are still dying after everything and you don't know what to do, use the comment section. Just do a video of what is going on and send it to me. I'll be able to give you a good answer that will help you out. Until I come your way next time, my name is Emily from Ogre of Letters Farm. Keep farming. It's a way of life.